In this movie, I'll show you how to modify a document by moving its artboards to different locations. This works a little differently inside Illustrator than it does inside other programs. Quite a bit differently than you would reasonably think as well, but once you come to terms with it, it makes a fair amount of sense. I'm working inside of a document called 8pagenewsletter.ai. It's found inside the O2 Artboards folder. Notice if you go up here to the File menu, you have a Document Setup command that allows you to modify the existing document. There's a keyboard shortcut of Control alt p or Command-Option-P on the Mac. I'll go ahead and choose the command. Notice that we have a whole slew of options that we did not see in the New Document dialog box. And we're missing a lot of those options as well. We have no control over page size. The only options that we have that are the same are these bleed values and the option to change the unit of measure. But we do have this button right here called Edit Artboards. And you can either click on it which will take you to the edit artboard mode, or I'll go ahead and cancel out of this dialog box. You also have the option of selecting the artboard tool. So you have to switch tools in order to edit the artboards. And this tool has a keyboard shortcut of Shift O. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it in order to switch to the artboard mode. And notice now that the active artboard is highlighted and I can drag it to a different location to move it. And this area back here, on which the artboards rest, this area of gray, is known as the pasteboard, or you sometimes see it called the canvas as well inside of Illustrator. I prefer pasteboard, however, because you can move objects into the pasteboard if you want to get them off the printed pages, just to keep them around for later. Notice up here in the options bar, we have this icon that says move copy artwork with artboard. And by default, it's turned on. So that means if I drag this artboard with the one in it, the one moves along as well. And now that I've put the artboard in this location, it thinks that the two, five, and six are part of the gang, and I would move them along with. Now I've got the three and seven involved, and ultimately I could get all the numbers onto this one artboard if I like. Of course, there's no reason to do that. I've made a mess of this document, which is why it's fortunate that Illustrator not only provides an undo command, but it also provides you with multiple undos. And you perform the undos either by choosing this first command from the edit menu or by pressing Control-Z on the PC or Command-Z on the Mac. And I'll just keep pressing that keyboard shortcut until I get my pages back to where they were. Another option for restoring the appearance of your artwork is to go up to the File menu and choose the Revert command. Now, in my case, Revert is dimmed, and that's because I went ahead and undid everything that I've done since opening the document. So... I'll go ahead and redo the last operation by going up to the edit menu and either choosing the redo command or you can press control shift C or command shift C on the Mac. And again, we've got multiple redos as well. So if I press control shift C or command shift C again, then I go ahead and remove the one, two, five, and six. Now let's say I want to get back to the original version of this artwork. I go up to the file menu and choose the revert command or you have a keyboard shortcut of F12. When I choose this command, I get a warning that tells me, hey, you're about to lose everything you've done that you didn't save associated with this document, and this is not an undoable operation. So it's something of a DEF CON. If you've really messed things up, this is the command to take care of things. And then you click on the revert button. Everything goes back to the way it was. And notice up here in the edit menu, the undo command is dimmed because, as I say, reverting is not undoable. So take care with that one. Now let's say you want to move an artboard, but you don't want to move the contents of that artboard. You want everything to stay where it is. Then you go up to the options bar and turn off Move Copy Artwork with Artboard. And then you drag the artboard anywhere you like and notice that the contents of that artboard never move along with it. That's how you move an artboard either with or without the artwork. Just remember, anytime you want to change your artboards, whether you're moving them or changing their size, as we'll see in the next exercise, you want to go ahead and switch over to the artboard tool, which you can get by pressing Shift-O. To leave the artboard mode, you either switch to any other tool here inside the toolbox, or you just press the Escape key, which will take you back to your last used tool, which in my case is the black arrow.